Well, you've heard the stories by now of people taking shelter in just a moment's notice in Ukraine with the war, underground bunkers protecting them from Russian assaults above. And in neighboring Poland, Cold War era fallout shelters have now reopened. Well, today, the U.S. Defense Secretary told members of Congress that Russia's nuclear powers remain an ongoing threat. And that has some people here at home preparing for the worst. In fact, some have invested in survival bunkers of their own. A lot of these, uh, better than the average home even. Look at some of the amenities. Fully equipped with everything you would ever need. You saw a wine room right there. Um, pretty, pretty nice. Ron Hubbard is the president of Atlas Survival Shelters and is joining us tonight. Uh, Ron, appreciate your time. So who's buying uh, these bunkers right now, these survival shelters? Well, mostly the elites are buying in because they're quite expensive. Um, the average costs on these shelters I'm making are somewhere between $100,000 and $250,000. But I had an idea several years ago thinking that Russia and China might be a problem in the future, that people building houses in the future might want to put a bomb shelter underneath it like they do in Switzerland or in Israel. So I went to Texas and built the world's biggest bomb shelter factory, thinking that I could maybe do one to 2,000 houses a year. And of course, my timing was impeccable because I was doing what I thought Russia would do. And China's going to probably do what I think China's going to do. And the time is right. And people need to start thinking about putting a safe cellar under the house. But as you can tell, like in the video, we turn them in room, a second bedroom for the kids, but uh, they're catching on and I'm selling the heck out of them. Right, so your phone's ringing off the hook. Um, Ron, are you in a bomb shelter, a bunker right now? No, I'm not oh. in a bomb shelter right now. I'm on <laughs> We're a having a connection issue, so I, th right now. I thought that might be the reason for our connection issue. All right, so how safe are these things? How long can you stay down there and have you put it to the test? Well, you can stay in a bomb shelter the same amount of time you can stay in a house. You just got to have food, water, and electricity, and you can stay down there as long as you want. So you mentioned a couple hundred grand. Um, are there cheaper options? Well, yeah, we have, a, uh, we have a nuclear fallout shelter that will do the same job as the big fancy one starting at $40,000. And it's more reminiscent of what we had back in the 60s during the Cold War. Uh, but it has the same air system, the same door. It just doesn't have all the luxury items that you're showing on camera right now. Mm -hmm. Well, when I, when I want to get the bells and whistles option, uh, what are some of the upgrades? We saw the wine, the wine room. What are some of the other fancy things that you put in these shelters? Well, most of the shelters that we make have all the life support systems that you're going to need. They have the NBC air filtration system. They have built-in water tanks. But what I've added is the underfloor storage, built-in water tanks, as I said, eight-foot ceilings, sliding barn doors, um, LED lights. But I, I built it with granite kitchen counters, uh, master bedrooms, walk-in showers, hot and cold running water. I mean, it's basically a house underground. Now, that shelter you're showing right now, that was actually done for royalty over in the Middle East about three months ago, and they bought several of those. Wow, uh, pretty fancy. So who would be a good candidate? I mean, if you've got an exi exi existing structure, um, how much space do you need to try to get one of these into the ground? Because you guys do the install too, right? Yeah, you got to do the install. So what you're not showing on camera right now is that these bunkers that have a generator room. You're just showing the interior living quarters. There's a lot more to the shelter system. But, you know, these are really built for a post-apocalyptic world that you're going to go down there and you may spend anywhere from a week to several months down there, depending on the situation and where you live. Now, we have a factory in Dallas, Texas, but we also have a factory in Poland that we opened eight months ago before the conflict between Russia and Ukraine was going out. So all of a sudden, I went from doing two bunkers that I had to 13 countries that I'm doing bunkers for right now. So I'll be in Europe at the end of, uh, in two weeks from now, I have to go to Europe just to 
deal with all the clients I'm working with over there. Well, pretty cool stuff. Um, you may never want to leave, and if nuclear war breaks out, you're not going to want to go up and see what happened up top. Uh, Ron, it's been fun talking to you. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.